Japan. Hi, welcome to Old Guys Gentlemen Flex Fountain Pens, episode number 69. Damn, I always forget to check it first. In any case, today I've got a unboxing of a new Urushi Raden pen from One Chair out of Japan. So let's get about opening this up and taking a look at what we got here. By the way, this is a uh, Canadian knife made by Brutal Ooh. Sort of looks like I might end up with a um, the wood box. It took me, I think, two or three months from the time I ordered. I thought they had these in stock, but um, I guess they're they're like made to order. All right. Your order made our day. We hope our package returns some favor. Cool. Ah, nice. Not sure what this is for. Especially for you. If any of you watching this know what this particular thing is for, maybe that's for laying the pen down on. I don't know. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Is it like that, I guess? Yes. I like it. Discover the undiscovered product care. Guarantee certificate. This is very nice. <laughs> I love this aspect of um, when you order custom stuff from Japan. The little ink cartridges. What is this? Certificate of authenticity. Yeah, the, um, the title of this design is the Dream um, Pen Rodden. It's a certification. Talks about the Mother of Pearl inlay, natural Urushi lacquer. This is very cool. I like it. Nice. Velvet packaging comes in its own little kimono. All right, are you ready? Let's magnify this a little bit. Here we go. Cool. Very nice. Let's move this in over here a little bit. This is much better than what you see in the pictures. All right, I have to go off camera for a second. Look at this close up. Yeah, really nice. This is the rod and, and there's different layers here. So it looks like the finer stuff is deeper in. Man, this is a beautiful pen. And it's not like crazy. Yeah, the colors 
kind of match in my mind. And then this gold dust, I assume that's what it is, gold flake, gold dust. There's a little bit of texture to it. Usually they put a signature in here. There's the signature. Pretty cool. So let's open it up and see what we get. Ooh. Look at that, it goes right down into the section. You know, all I got with this was this uh, extra fine steel nib. I've got a nib coming in from Spain made by FP Nibs. Um, the nib meister's name is Pablo. And I think this should be a, a Joe 06 insert here. And it's going to be a 14 karat triple extra fine uh, gold nib. Very nice. heresy to do that and it doesn't work anyhow so I think I'll wait till I get the let's see if there's a converter in here oh it does come with a converter let's go ahead and um, put some ink in here should probably put some Japanese ink in there so I'll use this Pilot Hiroshizuku Shinroiku. It's a nice green. Sometimes, uh, depending on the thread, there's different entry points of the thread. But this one only seems to have one, so that you always have this nice layer blending of rod and all the way down through it. <laughs> I'm going to be spending a lot of time looking at this pen today. Okay, back to writing. And this is just, you know, one of their lower cost options. It's um, steel, but it is um, a Japanese um, extra fine, so it should be really fine. Let's see. Well, that's not as fine as I thought it might be. It's fine enough. No. Nope minimal if any line variation but I didn't inspect any it's a steel nib god I love the way this thing looks Okay, it's a nice, smooth, uh, no skipping, dependable uh, nib. With this particular ink, you know, medium kind of wetness. So if I put no other nib in there, this would be a great pen to have. And when I put in the new Flex nib, it ought to be like amazing. But I think this is already just on its looks alone. Has zoomed into my uh, my number one position. This is the last one I got from Bocamundo. The, the the rod they're using here just kind of like shoots out color. Maybe it's because they're bigger pieces. Um, it's another one I have. This is a Tasia. It's a winner. Man, I like this. Did I say that already? <laughs> okay, so uh, there will be a second part to this review when I get the nib, which should be in the next couple of days. And um, hope you get some value out of this one. 
And I guess that's it.